What's going on Halo fans, Luke the Noble here, and on this episode of Get Wrecked, we're going to be talking about the Whiplash and Arclight, two unique railguns. I've had a lot of my fans debate over which one is better when they play with me online, and I'm finally going to set the record straight on which one is better. I'm going to talk about each weapon and then rate them on a five point scale, and at the end of the day we'll have our king of the railguns. So without further ado, let's get wrecked. For starters, I want to get it out there that the Railgun is my favorite rec card to use in all of Warzone so far. And that's because when I first found out about it, I had nightmares about it. It lived under my bed. I had to check my closet every night for the Whiplash. People that play Dark Souls praise the sun. Halo 5 players praise the Whiplash. This thing is like if Mark Wahlberg ate Mark Wahlberg. If there was a rematch between Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris, the guy with the Whiplash would kill both of them. In Halo 2, when Sergeant Johnson talked about he knew what ladies liked, he was talking about the Whiplash. I've already stated in multiple videos that the Railgun, in my opinion, is the greatest gun in Halo 5, and the Whiplash is just an upgraded Railgun. This thing does more damage, has a bigger clip, and recharges much faster. This thing is great against Spartans, vehicles, bosses, everything dies to the Whiplash. I've never had one of these things in my hands and not gotten an overkill. It's that good. Now it's time to rate the Almighty Railgun. I gave this a 1.25 for rec level because this is the greatest level 4 rec card in the game. If you try to argue with me, I'm just going to pull out more John Cena references. I've had games where I have a whiplash in the first 4 minutes, and that's incredibly powerful when people are running around the map with assault rifles. I also gave it extra points against Spartans because this thing eats Spartans for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like I said, I've never used this thing and not gotten an overkill. To give a small tip, this thing is used best when you're trying to defend a base that the enemy owns. When the enemy's swarming to the base, they'll have no chance against the Whiplash. This thing does fast, massive damage to both vehicles and bosses. I've been able to solo small to big bosses in Warzone just fine using the Whiplash. As far as usability goes, it's very easy to use, just like the regular railgun. Just charge it up, fire. I give this thing a 5.5 on a 5.0 scale. If you're itching for a whiplash because you watched this video, open up Silver Packs. It's an uncommon wreck and I had a pretty easy time getting it. Now it's time to look at Arclight. Arclight is a railgun that not only has more rarity, but is also a higher rec level to purchase in the game. However, in my opinion, Arclight just doesn't stand up at all to Whiplash. Arclight's niche is that it can be charged up indefinitely. You'll never accidentally pop off a railgun shot with the Arclight. This is great for new players because that's a giant problem with new players. They can't get the timing down. With the Arclight, they don't have to worry about that anymore. Because you can charge up the shot indefinitely, you do get a sizable increase in the amount of range you can get with the railgun. While this does make Arclight incredibly easy to use, it doesn't make it any more powerful than the regular basic railgun. To look at it pretty crudely, it's just a railgun with training wheels. Now it's time to rate Arclight. For rec level, I had to give it a 0.5 because at level 5 rec, you start to get a lot of cool stuff like the Pool of Radiance, Light of Errs, the Hydra, the Typhoon, all these different weapons that are so much cooler and so much better than a basic railgun. I give it a 1.0 against Spartans because it's still a railgun. This thing is good against them. Against vehicles and bosses, it gets a 0.75. While it's good against both of those, it's not great. You're not going to be able to solo the vehicles and the bosses in the game. For usability, I did give it extra points because, like I said before, this is a railgun with training wheels. It's incredibly helpful for new players that aren't used to the railgun and still want to get all of the benefits of one. You might be wondering how this thing got such a high score when I was bashing it earlier. At the end of the day, the Arclight is still a railgun. The railgun is the greatest gun in the game. It is nowhere near as awesome as the Whiplash or even some guns in its own class, but it still does its job very well. I think Arclight and Whiplash should be switched as far as rarity and rec level goes. Whiplash is just much more appropriate to be at a level 5 or even a level 6 rec. Arclight can still survive as a rare level 4 rec. But that's just not my decision to make. If this video makes its way to 343, maybe they'll change something. Who knows? That's all for this episode of Get Wrecked. Thanks for watching. I'm still never sure of what the next episodes will be. I think this one will either be the two Needlers, the Hailstorm and Talon of the Lost, or the two bull shots, Closed Fist and Open Hand. I'm not sure which ones I want to do yet. It depends how fast I can get gameplay. If this is your first time seeing my videos, please go check out some more. I have 30 plus Halo 5 tips videos. And also subscribe because I make videos weekly. If you like Twitch, go down to the description and click on my Twitch link. I play with subscribers on my streams and it's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye bye.